Hi, and just today we are going to solve the problem which is based on the sinusoidal response equation. So, a thermometer having a first order dynamics is placed in a temperature bath of 30 degrees Celsius, and after reaching the thermometer at the steady state, the temperature of the bath is varied in a sinusoidal manner. And it's average, uh, the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius with an amplitude of 10 degrees Celsius. If the period of oscillation is 25 sec seconds per cycle, and the time constant of the thermometer is five, six seconds. Then we are asked to determine the maximum and minimum temperature of the thermometer and the phase lag of the system. So in the case of the sinusoidal response equation, the response equation at the steady state is given as yt at steady state is equal to a divided by under root 1 plus tau square omega square times sine of omega t plus the phase angle theta and if you don't know this equation then watch my previous video where I have shown how to derive the general sinusoidal response equation for the first order control system and this term is called this term is called our output amplitude of variation and we know that we have derived this equation by taking our x of s which was e omega divided by s square plus omega square so if we take the inverse laplace transform on both sides of this equation so we'll get x of t will be equal to a sine omega t so this a is called our input amplitude of variation so now first to calculate the maximum temperature so the maximum temperature is the average temperature of bath plus the output amplitude of variation so the average temperature of the bath is 30 degrees celsius and we need to calculate the output amplitude of variation so we need to calculate this term so let me take out my calculator and we have amplitude of 10 degrees celsius so here our a is gonna be 10 degrees celsius so if we calculate the, ampli uh, the output amplitude of variation, so this will be 10 and we have the time period of oscillation. So from that we need to calculate the omega in variance per second. So let's do that. We'll take this small corner and we have time period is 25 seconds per cycle. And we know that the frequency n will be equal to 1 over 25 seconds per cycle. So our frequency will be 1 over 25. So this will be our 0 0.04 cycles per second. And omega is equal to 2 pi n. So this will be equal to 2 times 3.14 times 0 0.04. So omega will be equal to 0 0.2512 radians per second and from this we can calculate our, our output amplitude of variation. So this will be 10 divided by under root 1 plus the time constant tau is 6 so 6 square times 0.2512 square so this will be 5.52 86. So the maximum temperature will be 30 plus 5.5286. So maximum temperature will be 35.5286 degrees Celsius. And now our minimum temperature. So minimum temperature will be the average temperature of the bath minus the output amplitude of variation. So this will be 30 degrees Celsius minus 5.5286 degrees celsius 
which will be 24.4714 degrees Celsius and now we are asked to calculate the phase lag so we know that the phase angle theta is equal to tan inverse negative tau omega so this will be tan inverse negative or tau is 6 seconds into omega is 0.2512 radian per second so this will be equal to tan inverse negative 6 into 0.2512 so this will be negative 56.4364 degrees but of course the phase angle is measured in the time so what we are going to do is our phase phase lag is measured in time so phase lag is equal to 56.4364 degrees times the period of oscillation is 25 seconds per cycle divided by 360 degrees so this will be equal to 56.4364 into 25 divided by 360 so a phase lag will be 3.919 second so this was all the information regarding how to solve a problem which is based on the sinusoidal response equation and thank you for watching this video